Built on the highest point on campus, the Duke Chapel Tower stretches 210 feet in the air. This is what it looks like from below. But a climb up the tower, a Duke tradition, offers a unique perspective with intriguing sights, sounds, and history, as well as a stunning view from the top. Let's go inside. The main sanctuary of the chapel, along with the rest of the original West Campus, was designed by the prominent African-American architect, Julian Abel, in the English Gothic style. And here is the door to the tower. It's 239 steps to the top, but we'll take stops along the way for views of rarely seen rooms in the tower. The first stop is the gallery of the Benjamin N. Duke Memorial Organ. Built by the Flintrop Organ Company from Holland, this organ has more than 5,000 pipes. Pulling stops on either side of the keyboards allows the instrument to produce different sounds. This is the origin of the expression, pulling out all the stops. Let's keep climbing. The next stop is the trophy room. Though today there are no trophies, it was actually built to be a kind of mini museum. It still contains a cornerstone from the original Trinity College campus that was moved to Durham in 1891. It turns out having a museum up so many narrow winding stairs isn't particularly practical, so now it's used for storage. And there are still more stairs to climb. This level has the Carillon Cabin. When you hear the bells ringing on campus each weekday at five o'clock, this is where they are being played. A caroliner strikes these batons to pull the cables that move the clappers that strike the bells. In 1939, the balcony on this level was the site of what was built as America's first folk carillon recital, when a vocalist on this balcony, accompanied by the carillon, sang before an audience of thousands. Ah! Now let's keep climbing on for a better look at those bells. The chapel's carillon is named in honor of J. Samuel Hammond, the late university caroliner who faithfully played the instrument for five decades. It has 50 bells, the largest of which weighs more than five tons. Once we pass the carillon, there are just a few more winding steps, and then we've reached the top. This is it. The top of the tower offers a 360 degree view of campus in Durham. From here, you can see why Duke has been called a campus in the forest. You can also see the cross-shaped footprint of the chapel. Even up here, where few people can see, the artisans and laborers who built the chapel have crafted architectural details into the spires at the very highest point of the building. Congratulations on completing your virtual Duke Chapel Tower climb. For Duke students, we have a special offer for the last day of classes. See the description of this video to sign up to pick up your virtual tower climb button.